I am back at the trailhead up above Whiting Campground near Mapleton, and today I'm gonna to take you up Spanish Fork Peak. Just past the trailhead, you're gonna enter a small gate. The first part of the trail is very easy. Anyone can do it, but once you cross the river, it becomes much more difficult. We've taken the trail straight here, and that'll take you to the left fork and go along the creek and up and over into Diamond Fork. But today, after a quarter of a mile, we're gonna turn right and go up the right fork, and that'll take us across over to Spanish Fork Peak. Now be careful with this little bridge. It's uh, starting to get a little sketch, <clears throat> but the creek's low enough you could cross on the rocks if you needed to. Once you cross the creek, there's this little area that's still easy to pass through, but it gets much harder and you have about five miles to make the summit. This is how much of the trail looks. So pick your route. Stay out of the rocks as much as you can. After about 0.6 miles, the trail gets steeper and rockier and much more difficult. The vegetation and terrain is always changing. At around a mile and a half, you reach the first switchback on the mountain. Check out the view just past a mile and a half and listen to the birds, they sound cool. This is the view at two miles up the trail. Here's the view at 2.15 miles. This area gets a lot of moisture, so there's a lot of wildflowers. Here's the view from 2.36 miles. Enjoy the birds. This is three miles right here. This is the view from 3.5. And this is the view from 3.7 miles. Amazing. This is the four mile mark. And it looks like the lake is dried up like it usually is in the summer. I've seen pictures in the spring. It's a cute little lake. You can tell I'm starting to record less and there's two reasons for that. A, you've seen it already. And B, I'm tired as hell, man. This hike's kicking my butt again. 4.25 miles. This log would normally be easy to cross over, but I'm so darn tired at this point. And this is officially the view I left off on the trail two years ago. Four point seven five miles. The summit ridge 
The actual summit ridge is just ahead of us. We're on the ridge. Oh my gosh. We're on the ridge. And it got super windy at the top, man. But what a view. What a beautiful, beautiful view. I don't know what it is about this trail, but it is one of the most deceivingly difficult hikes I've ever been on. I've done it twice and I couldn't quite finish it. And I finish almost every hike I go on. So I ended it at the saddle this time. I'm gonna conquer this beast that last quarter of a mile next year. Just remember on this mountain, you may run out of time. So turn back, make sure you have time to get back to the trailhead. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.